Hi, so today's class is going to be about uh, drawing tools and drafting settings in the AutoCAD status bar. So we are going to talk about all these tools that you see over here and why they are so important when we are working with AutoCAD. Now one of the tools uh, down here, what they help us is uh, with making our drawing more and more perfect because AutoCAD is all about perfection. You cannot have uh, simple mistakes. You have to make sure that the lines are meeting in the right location. Uh, you have to be very precise. You have to be very perfect. So without the use of these tools, uh, working with AutoCAD gets really tough. So let me demonstrate a few things over here. Uh, as in why uh, we should be using all these tools that you see down here in the status bar. Like for instance, I'm going to the line tool right now and I'm going to start to draw a line. You see, with the help of these tools, uh, I can make a straight line without having to uh, without having to just adjust my mouse. And uh, AutoCAD does that for me right now with the polar setting. The reason the polar setting is on, that's why I can make a straight line without even you know having a problem so that's where it will help me the second place uh, the other object snap that you see over here what that helps me with is if I want to make a line starting from here and I want to stop at the end okay so without that being turned on it's really tough for me to point the exact point right so that's why I would use the object snap in this case uh, the other case would be if I want to make a line from here going to the center of the line. Now I won't be sitting and calculating where the center is. Why? Because my object snap helps me do that. See? It already shows me the midpoint symbol and all I have to do is get close to it and then just click it. Same thing when I go over here and I try to go back to there it shows me the end point symbol. So I can keep going and keep going and make my drawing even more perfect. Like for instance, if I wanted to draw a perpendicular line from there, see these snaps and the ortho and uh, the polar tracking helps me be more efficient and work a lot more faster. Okay, so now let's start with the first tool over here. Uh, the first is the snap mode. The second one you see is the grid display. So to make the snap work, I have to go to the grid tool first. So all I have to do is just click on that. When I click on that, you see a little grid that pops up on your screen. Now, the grid is something like you have used in school, like a graph paper. And the distances of the grid are set. You see? There's a certain distance that's set between these points on the x-axis and the y-axis. So, I can go on any of these tools and right-click and go Settings. And it shows me uh, the spacing of this grid. So the spacing is 0.5 and 0.5 in this case. Okay, you see that grid spacing is 0.5 and 0.5. I can even turn the snap on from here, or the same thing down here, and it should snap to the grid. Okay, so I'm gonna hit OK, go turn the snap on right now. And if I want to make a line, see, my line snaps to all these points on my grid. Uh, making my work even more efficient. But the problem with the, these are uh, the snap and the grid tool has been there since AutoCAD has been there. So right now in today's time we don't really even use this tool because we have more advanced tool that AutoCAD came up with later on uh, with the polar tracking, the object snap and the object snap tracking. Okay, so but at least I needed to show you what these tools does. So in case if you would ever like to use it, please do. But uh, personally, I think it's a total waste of time. I don't even know why they are still there. So <coughs> if I don't have the object snap mode on, as in if I turn it off and I try to make lines, you see it doesn't snap to my points. So I can turn it on and off, on and off, and you can see that in the command line but usually I always keep this off I always keep the grid off and then I work from there now the next uh, 
next status bar tool that you see is the auto mode. Now what the auto mode does, it helps me make perpendicular lines, just like the way the symbol looks. So if I want to make a line from there, see, all I can do is make perpendicular lines. I cannot make a line at any other angle. So uh, sometimes it is efficient, it helps us to work with only perpendicular lines, so we would be using that once in a while. Uh, but when it comes to polar tracking, if I have that on, even though I have this off, I still uh, would get the lines. Let me turn that on. See, I still get my guidance line where I can draw vertical and horizontal lines. Again, uh, the auto mode was with really old AutoCAD version and all these tools you see over here are newer, newer as in I would say maybe three to four years old. Uh, these tools you see over here are probably 15 years old. Okay, so it's up to you if you would like to use those, but if not, it's still okay. You can survive just with the polar tracking, the object snap, uh, the object snap tracking, and then we have the dynamic input over here, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So I'm going to escape. I'm going to jump to uh, the polar tracking now. Now, if I click on it, it turns off. Click on it, it turns on. It's highly advisable. Always keep your polar tracking on. Always keep your object snap on. You will not be working on any drawing without these uh, being on. So I'm going to go on polar tracking right now. I see it's on. I'm going to right click. What I see over here is the different preset angles that they are on. Right now it was on 18 degrees. So I can make it 45. Okay. So if I wanted to make a line at an angle of 45, I just click a start point. See, I already got this. Then I'm going to move my mouse. Boom. Now I already have a 45 degree uh, line guide. So I could easily draw lines at 45 degrees. Now this makes my drawing more efficient and I can work a lot more faster. Okay, so that's what polar tracking does. I can even right click on there again and go to the settings. In settings, I can add additional angles if I want. Like if you see over here, these angles are preset, they're already there in AutoCAD, but I can always add some more if I want. I have to do is click on the additional angles. I go new and I put in the angle that I want, like 30 degrees. Okay, and I hit OK. So if I go down here now, see, I already see 30 degrees. I make sure that I select it, it's selected. Now, if I want to make a line going 30 degrees, that's how much? Zero. See, that's 30 degrees. Then it keeps going on 30. So that's 60, that's 90. That's 120, 150, and 180. Okay, so again, this helps in making our drawing more and more efficient. So it's extremely important that you use this. You cannot work on any drawing with these two tools being on the object snap and the polar tracking. Okay, so I hope you understand what polar tracking does. Now let's jump to object snap. Now, I would say out of all these tools, out of all these tools, I would say that object snap is the most important. Now, why is it more important? Let me click on it. Right now it's turned off. You see that in the command line. Now, why is this more important? Like for instance, if I want to make a line starting here and going all the way up to the end point of this. So I click somewhere and try to go to the end point. Okay? Now I think I did a perfect job. I hit escape. So I hope everyone thinks that it is joined, right? But it is not. And how do I know? I'll just have to go zoom in. Now you see what happened over here? Now this is something that is not acceptable when you're working in a company or when you're working in an architecture firm. You have to make sure it ends right here. Now why is this important? Because for some reason if I want to hatch it, if I want to hatch like a closed surface, uh, I talked about this yesterday even though it looks close but it is not because uh, somewhere you might have a gap 
see now these are overlapping again you cannot have something like this this is really bad drawing so to fix that problem all I have to do is turn my object snap on now I go to the line I don't even really need to zoom really close see that's the symbol for endpoint and I'm going to the endpoint of this is as easy as that now if I zoom in doesn't matter how much I zoom in it's perfectly perfectly aligned and it's snapped to the object okay so you have to make sure that you're using these tools uh, anytime you get a chance now I'm gonna go right click there go to the settings now these are all the object snaps that you see where it uh, snaps to like I already showed you the example of the endpoint I did show you the example over here where it snaps to the midpoint of the lines uh, this will snap to the center of the circle this will take the perpendicular uh, quadrant intersection parallel so on and so forth if you want you can select all of them at one time but never work with clear all that is not good if I do that I have to make sure I have to turn the ones that I use the most to make the most perfect uh, what do you call it drawing so I can turn it on and off from here but again as I said never turn it off always keep it on by default AutoCAD uh, has just a couple of these on but you have to go in there and select more of them okay because this is what you will be using quite often and I would even say you can hit select all and that's good too but make sure sometimes when your lines are not lining up the only reason is it's is turned off and to turn it on all you have to do is click it back up okay so um, I hope you understand the object snap maybe I'll show you a couple more things that the object snap does is one is snap to the center of the circle snaps to the perpendicular and maybe even the intersection right I think that should be good enough for instance right now I'm going to make a circle now we did this before how to make the circle we just go right here click and then draw your circle now what I want to do is make a line from the midpoint of this line to the center of the circle now without object snap that would be impossible to do so but with object snap to make sure my object snap is turned on okay and I use my line either I can go here or I can type it on the keyboard it go see it showed me the midpoint and I want to go to the center of the circle oh boom right there okay was it that that was pretty easy so I have to make sure my object snap is on like another thing I could do is see I could go to the node right there the quadrant line from there to the midpoint or the end point of this line okay so again I would say make sure that you have this on extremely extremely important you never work with any AutoCAD drawing without having your object snap turned on now the next one I would say is intersection see this line intersects the circle where if I go right close to the intersection it gives me that X so now I know I'm right on the intersection so few things that we saw is the end point center of the circle the intersection the midpoint okay so I can uh, use these tools to make my drawing uh, more better more efficient more perfect more precise and uh, what other tools do we have right click on there it's settings uh, we have the quadrant we have the node we even have the tangent somewhere like if I turn the tangent on make a line go somewhere close to the circle see you could start anywhere node node okay you could make another circle line from I want it to work with the tangent but for some reason the tangent doesn't show up did I turn it on okay all right I'll do that in the second part I just want to make sure if it's working right but we are going to continue with this exercise because I need to finish all of these over here okay all right see you in part two